Scorpio. <laughs> What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Scorpio of August 2019? <laughs> Are you guys in this transformative energy victoriously moving forward? <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? To, uh, I'm sorry, uh, if you're new to the family, new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We only dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But we do love, we grow, we cuss, we evolve, we enlighten. One big happy family we are. We don't do that negative shit over here. Posy vibes only, all right? To the returning subscribers, family, what's popping? Did you miss me? Because I missed y'all. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I would like to thank you all for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the readings, the support. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You guys, this message is going to resonate with some. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. Don't try to make that motherfucking shoe fit if it's too big because your ass is going to fall. Period. Okay. So with that said, you guys, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Scorpio. Y'all, I talk fast. Catch up, hot sauce. All right. Let's get it. I can't apologize for what I do on my shit. If don't nobody, can't nobody feel that shit. Scorpion can. Don't tell me what to do on my shit. Hello? <clears throat> so we're going to start off with the intuitive messages for you all. For my feather. Oh, y'all was looking for my feather. Okay. For the month of August, I got forgiveness, past life, life path. Hurdling, health restored, test of faith, rapid manifestations, transmuting negative thinking, mother issues, second chances, material gains, rewriting timelines, promotion, travel, sudden wealth, divinely guided, speak from the heart, only see love. Ancestral cycles. Someone thought they were slick. Fear of change. Okay? So that's what I got intuitively for the month of August for my Scorpions. If any of those intuitive messages did resonate with you, this is your damn story. Let's talk about it. All right? Overall energy around the reading, you guys. We got the six of spades here. So this lets me know that you guys are really focused on finding harmony within self in order to continue pushing through and persevering. Okay. There's this energy of actually finding the confidence again within self after possibly having to release some things. You're going through some of you guys I'm hearing forced transformation. So some of you guys have were literally like you feel as if you were ripped away from everything or if every something was taken away from you. But to be very honest with you baby, wasn't nothing taken and ain't nobody threatening taking anything that you don't allow to leave. It's about you opening up and being receptive going forward and actually being expressive about, about how you feel because there's this sense of, I feel like some of you guys are having issues when it comes to, especially my Scorpio men, during the month of August, you guys are needing to open up more. Even if it, it's like find your, find the healthy way that best suits you to communicate with your partner if you love that person and they're worth putting the effort in and they're worth having and keeping. Because some of y'all partners are feeling as if things are going on, as if you're being manipulative or as if you're trying to be slick or finesse a situation. When that's not ultimately what it is, it's just like, I just want to feel safe and in harmony within myself to know that it's safe, to have confidence in it, to know that everything that I need I have within me before I choose to lean upon you, you know what I'm saying, to give me that aspect of me to fill that void that doesn't come from you, it comes from me, so I'm working on me, there's this energy of you guys doing a whole lot of self work, and it's making a lot of people in the month of August around you uncomfortable because they don't really know how to take you, um, and they're so used to you keeping things to yourself, and during this time, Scorpios, a lot of you guys are going to be opening up and being expressive, so it's fucking people head up because they don't really know how to take you just that's, that's not listen how they take you is none of your business nor your damn problem you keep trucking because you guys are going to be victorious moving forward things are being transmuted uh transformed for you i'm also hearing um 
<laughs> karma serve. So if someone tried to manipulate a situation, there's also an energy of your name being rectified. If somebody tried to twist and turn and be in the story a certain type of way to make it make it seem as if you were the bad person or as if you were this horrible person, there will be rectification during this time. The manipulator will be fucking seen for who the hell that they are. Okay. Angel message for the month, you guys. You guys got breathe. It comes from Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and inhale and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Okay, so it's about self care, self love. There will be an expansion in the heart chakra that you guys are going to be experiencing. Some of you guys, uh, some of you guys also are. Um, going to be receiving visits from your ancestors in your dream space in your subconscious some of you guys also are inheriting the gift of premonition do not be afraid but there's this need for you all to <clears throat> actually find your sacred space within self as well as within your actual external environment find take time for yourself and actually find a healthy space as far as a sacred space for you to maintain your centeredness and your chi because a lot of you all are empaths so there's this, there's this need for you guys to protect your energy during this time because you may be sensitive to other people's energy seeing that you guys are going through some type of transformative period others of you i'm hearing awakenings okay so some of you guys may be it may be experiencing a dark night of the soul or an awakening during this time some of y'all may have a sagittarius leaving your life during this time others of you <coughs> there's a need for you to speak up and don't accept defeat before you move forward and even putting your damn foot in the water to see if it's okay to get in. Some of you guys, and I feel that I'm speaking to more of the Scorpion man, some of you guys are spiritual teachers. There's this need for you guys to be very active when it comes to using your throat chakra. Speak up, Scorpio, okay? Also, some of you guys may also be doing a lot of... um. Some of y'all may be getting into some type of occult practices during this time. Like you may be into um, tarot cards. You may be into, and I'm talking about you actually like giving readings. You're doing this for other people. There's this need for you guys to come, come out of the darkness, Scorpio. Come into the light and show us how beautiful you are. And you need to trust in that in yourself. And don't say or don't feel as if, you know, well, they may not like what I have, or maybe they won't, well, maybe it's a lot of people doing that, so maybe they won't notice. Well, maybe they will. You will never know if you don't do it. Okay? Jump your ass off the cliff. Let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my scorpion? I'm also hearing renewal of family, so some of you guys may also be finding compromises when it comes to dealing with family ties. I'm also hearing fair, uh, fair decisions. Some of you guys, there may also be talks of uh, splitting of assets as well during this time. I'm on, I'm recording the splitting of assets. Second. Yeah, when I was doing the pre-shuffle for you guys, there there kept being this emphasis on blind faith. Blind faith. Spiritual messages you have for my scorpions and love. Mm -hmm. Spiritual messages you have for my scorpions and love. Some of you guys during the month of August may be again possibly resurrecting a family situation or making a judgment if you're going to stay with someone who you have children with or if you're going to move forward and just focus on what it is that you want to um, what you want to manifest in your own life. Okay. Some of you all are also making a decision. On yeah, some of y'all have had a reconciliation or could be experiencing a reconciliation with someone who could have walked away from you or made you feel rejected. Okay, this could also be someone who kind of makes you feel as if you are like they 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 have this demeanor about them that that they try to make you feel as if you are less than them or like they're inferior to you. Others of you, this person could drink a lot. Some of y'all are making a decision when it comes to dealing with a cancer Pisces Scorpio who you can have children with. Or who you be trying to manifest the family with. Some of you guys are going to choose to break free and release yourself from a situation, okay? Others of you, there's a need for you guys to actually move towards your ideas when it comes to business endeavors as well as um, 
business plans, being strategic and trusting yourself as well as your brand, trusting what it is that you're trying to grow because you've already done the work and laid the seeds for it. So it's yours. It's like you have to just jump off the damn cliff. Hmm. Others of you have to free yourself from someone who could have had some codependency issues or someone who could have codependency issues, drinking issues. Somebody have um <clears throat> somebody somebody was sent to break a cycle here, Scorpio, and someone is taking the same cycle as their father's family when it comes to being addicted to chaos. Some y'all addicted to someone who's uh, who some of y'all are in love with someone who's addicted to chaos. This person is trying to break like 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 rewrite timelines or rewrite the structure around the value the values and how they view family okay for some of you all someone is going to be releasing themselves okay this could be someone who you're in a relationship with this person could have had a negative tie to someone who they have children with okay there will be a decision made about children during this time i am here in fraternity so some y'all could be dealing with someone having to do uh, a fraternity test and I definitely see someone is going to be freeing themselves from a situation, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Gemini. And I feel like this person is definitely a soulmate to you. This union is divinely guided. However, this could be the motherfucker who drinks so damn much that so you freeing yourself and starting anew. And in doing so, you will be victorious. Some of y'all are going to be actually moving on towards the Leo. Others of you are going to be hearing news possibly uh, regarding a pregnancy uh, that could be involved in a damn Leo, okay? Others of you, there will be some type of renewal when it comes to a family situation with a fire sign or some type of family structure. And some of you guys are releasing. Yeah, you're moving away from the feelings of the past, looking at the past from an aspect of hurt. And, and, and you're going to be looking at it going forward from, a, from an aspect of how you use that energy to transform yourself. How did it strengthen you? What did it teach you? How did it catapult you on your journey? Was it a catalyst situation to, you know, um, awaken you to your journey? Um, awaken you to the aspect of unconditional love where you once could have had a closed heart shock where this person had to hurt you in order to assist you with healing in order to uh, restructure your foundations when it comes to how you see love, okay? Others of you could be dealing with someone who's an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. You could have children with this person. Some of y'all during this time, be careful, because some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign. This person could be very codependent. This person could also be using your children um, or trying to control you through your damn children, okay? This person could also be experiencing some type of money issues as well during this time, yeah. And this person is, yeah, some of y'all could have moved away from this damn person. And this person then got so used to you being uh, Mr. or Mrs. Fix-It, Scorpio, that some of y'all left somebody, some of y'all leaving somebody on their ass in the month of August, focused on your own damn prosperity. Because some of you guys feel as if there's some type of blockage or stillness when it comes to your money. Some of you guys are trusting the damn synchronicities. Them 555, five, five, you ain't seeing that shit for nothing. Some of y'all been seeing 555, five, five, four, four, four a whole lot. And it has to do with changes around your stability. But it's also some type of direction or instruction on how to get yourself out of a situation where you feel stuck. Some of you guys feel trapped or stuck in a situation um, with the Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel as if this person makes... It's something about someone being a victim, someone playing... A victim in a situation. Some of y'all this could also involve a water sign, a Pisces to be exact. If you're dealing with a Pisces and you and this person have been going through some type of issues around deception, truth will be unveiled during this time to assist you in moving away from this relationship because some of y'all feel as if some of you guys feel stuck or trapped in the union, okay? And some of you guys, um, some of y'all are dealing with another water sign who having an issue with holding on from a hold, having an issue with letting go of a Leo from their past due to the fact that you may like work far away, like someone could actually like work for like work or travel for work, and someone could actually be holding on to someone who could have like I'm gonna say it, somebody got a sugar daddy, okay? Somebody gonna find out, somebody gonna talk to somebody's damn sugar daddy, sugar mama, okay? They gonna chat in the month of August. This is also, yeah. So, yeah. And for some of y'all, this is also going to be a catalytic situation. It's like confirming and teaching you to trust yourself, okay? For those of you who are dealing with an air sign, this person feels stuck in a situation possibly due to children. They also feel as if 
Um, there is like finances lacking in the relationship, so they feel the need to step outside of the relationship to turn to either addiction, sex addictions, uh, drinking addictions. I'm also hearing opiates. Somebody's uh, popping a whole lot of fucking pills in your energy, Scorpio. Somebody needs to go to a rehab. Or we'll, there will be talks about someone, and, and I also see family uh, collaboration, okay? We're talking to get somebody in a damn rehab during this time. This shit's ridiculous, okay? And this is no judgment, but I feel like someone, someone points the finger at you being the reason why they're addicted to drugs. And somewhere along the line, you believe them. There's a need for you to reprogram that aspect to yourself, okay? For those of you who are dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I feel like you are this person's wish, but this person can be a bit selfish. This person is kind of fixed in their ways, okay? So some of y'all could actually be dealing with another Scorpio. Others of you could be dealing with an Aquarius where there could be communication issues. If you're dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, this person, if you're constantly having to talk to this uh, person about the little slick shit, this person has this need to juggle relationships, juggle people, juggle people within their energy because the fact that they have low self-esteem, this person needs a constant feeding of the ego. Some of y'all are going to have a different perception around that during this time, okay? And some of you guys could be leaving the earth sign in the in the damn dirt because you feel as if you don't know how to be faithful. You don't even have the, the you don't have the element of self control to you. So because of that, I'm going to I'm going to lead by example. Show us by me respecting me what you will not do in my energy, and it's going to bring me happiness, joy, beautiful beginnings, and abundance in my life. For some of y'all, the energy of a life partner. And it requires you to face your fear of being by yourself because truth be told, I'm seeing some of you all have an issue of being alone. There's this fear of it, which is why you may tend to attract or stay in codependent relationships. But that aspect of you is being transformed. A lot of you all are coming to terms and coming to realization of that during this time. And that is the actual transforming energy that you're putting that work in on yourself. Others of you, uh, some of you guys... Some of y'all could also be receiving some type of a promotion. There will be offers of more money or talks of more money when it comes to uh, business endeavors, work endeavors during this time, especially between the second and third week of August, okay? Some of y'all is going to get an offer from your old job. Um, there's a need for you to set boundaries. I definitely feel and also respect your feelings. If you felt like you left that place and what did you feel when you left that place? Because some of you guys may feel as if your back is against the wall. You really need some money. You need to make some money, okay? I definitely feel like when you go back, whatever you allow them to do going forward, learn from that. If you choose to go back to your old job, I do see an offer will be here. It's something about you guys, are, you're not going to stay that long due to the same shit that you left there for. They they have many damn requests and they don't want to, they don't, they pay, don't match their requests, okay? Let's clarify some shit. Why is the judgment card here? Yeah, some of y'all making the yeah, some oh, okay. Some of you guys, some of you guys um who could have possibly possibly been disconnected from a Leo due to someone not being open, not being receptive, not being vulnerable emotionally. This person is going to be returning to you during this time, during a season, okay? This person miss you, Scorpio, but they do wish that, that they want things to change. They want to not be the only one putting in effort in a relationship. For some of y'all, there will be, some of y'all who are attached to the side of Leo, they're going to be leaving somebody in the damn dirt uh, from their past who was trying to hold on to them, possibly with an attachment to a damn child. They're going to free themselves from this damn deceptive Pisces energy, okay? Because I feel like that person could be attached to a Pisces or a Cancer. Some of y'all is a Virgo. Yeah. Others of you, Others of you, you're moving. If you're dealing with a fire sign, I definitely feel like someone, yeah, someone is coming to see you if you're dealing with fire. Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like some of you guys want to work on actually uh, bringing movement to a situation that was stagnant, possibly with an Aries person, another Scorpio, a Gemini. If you're dealing with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, these people really don't, they're trying to make a decision on what it is that they want during this time. But like someone is is a bit indecisive, but they do know that they don't want to be left out in the cold. That's what they sure of. So they're making the decision not to make the decision, which is hopes that the whole damn conversation will just go away. Just like I wanted the whole damn July to be thrown the hell away. They want to throw it away. But you need to speak up and actually ask clear, ask, ask clear and 
straightforward questions about what it is that you need to know because some of y'all you need to trust your intuition when it comes to uh putting in work possibly regarding the pisces this person is still attached to the damn air sign some of y'all this person is still attached to this sagittarius or this sagittarius is still attached to this damn pisces someone temporarily broke free somebody went through a retrograde breakup why is the love of here? some of you guys are recognizing that a fire sign from your past um, who you could have walked away from or who you possibly feel. Some of y'all are wanting to talk, speak, reach out to a fire sign, but you're afraid that you're going to be rejected. This person could be um, either a past life soulmate for some of you all. For some of y'all, this is a twin flame uh, connection. And others of you, there is a clashing of the egos that you guys will be moving past during this time. Somebody, you can show they ask what it's like to be without your Scorpio. They're like, no, I don't want to be without you. I want my boo. <laughs> Why is the sun card here? Some of y'all, as soon as you release yourself from a situation, yep, dealing with that damn fire sign. Some of you guys are going to reconcile with a fire sign. And some of y'all be careful with having sex with that damn Aries Leo Sagittarius because baby's just crippling up in here. If you ain't trying to get pregnant, you better wrap it up in the month of August. Because things are coming very fast. I do see you guys being victorious moving forward. If you guys have been focused on money issues, please stop. We do have a new opportunity that will be presented to you with somewhere between the second and the third week of August, baby. You just need to make a decision and set clear intentions on what it is that you truly want to wish to manifest in your life instead of focus on focusing on all the negative aspects based on where you've been, okay? Some of you guys are just, some, some of y'all are moving away from the damn Capricorn, okay? Some of y'all are dealing with an, uh, with an fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, that needed to make a decision between you and the Capricorn. And in the past, they could have been indecisive, but now they come up to their senses, Scorpio. They want to hold on to you. They want to hold on to you. Some of y'all leave that damn Capricorn in the dust, honey. They ain't even going to see it coming. Some of you guys feel as if this person is emotionally manipulative. Some of y'all, this person is extremely narcissistic. Y'all just cutting out people, places, things, situationships, anything that could affect your energy in a negative way, Scorpio's like, throw it in the garbage. I don't want it. I do see a reconciliation with someone who you have children with, okay? For others of you, this could definitely have to do with the twin flame. You could be seeing 11, 11 a whole lot. For some of you all, this could be someone who you've known since your childhood and who you have children with. And I feel like there have, you guys have been through ups and downs. But I definitely see moving forward. You got to let that hurt go and set clear boundaries in order to have this newness with this person. Because for some of you all, you got new love, but you got to let that hurt go. And moving forward, just take the lessons with you, baby. And in doing so, ooh, some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a damn Aries, child. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a damn, uh, this could be a divine masculine, baby, who could be a Taurus, okay? Some There is, I'm hearing, a renewal in love as well for some of you all. But some some of y'all have to cut them up. Y'all have to cut their ass with the sword. You got to roll heads to show a motherfucker that if you don't get right, you can get left, okay? I definitely see that someone misses you, Scorpio. Someone is, I definitely see that you and another person could be contemplating on if you're going to reach out to one another. It's like someone gets ready to move and then it's like they just stop themselves like, nah. It's like someone doesn't, it's like two people who don't want to feel, somebody just needs to drop the pride and take leadership on the situation. Because do you see this abundance? This is beautiful. For those of you who had to cut off someone, some of y'all, the father of your child coming back right this time. They got their life together. Some of y'all actually thought somebody ghosted you. You're going to find out that they was in some type of facility of some sort. This person could have been in a mental facility. This person could have been in jail, in another state, I'm hearing, or in another city. This person could have also been going through some type of homelessness and didn't want to tell you. But I definitely see. A beautiful partnership that is beginning to form in the month of August. And I'm hearing that will actually flourish by the month of November around your birthday season. But you have to be allowing, receptive, and open to communicate and open to let the barriers down and allow us to see that beautiful star that resides in all of you. Because you guys are such beautiful souls, Scorpio. Let us see it. I dare you. I dare you. Light will be shed. Um, 
before making an offer possibly with the Virgo. And some of you all are going to choose to, um, after being in this place of solitude, focusing on your damn money, some of you guys are actually ready to make that offer. Some of you guys, there could have also been some type of confidence issue when it came to focusing on your money or feeling as if you were inadequate enough to have love, like you were inadequate when it came to finances in order to be able to attract that love in your life or that you was, or to be deserving of that love or as if someone would look like pretty much as if you didn't have enough as the person who you wanted to love. There's this energy. It's just madness. Ultimately, it's an illusion, Scorpio. Okay? That's what I'm getting at. So, <clears throat> Overall energy, you guys, again, are going through a transform a transformative period. Um, I definitely see that you guys are getting out of this space, moving away from this space of internally fighting yourself, doubting yourself, um, for that matter, allowing other people around around you to project their negative, negative ass energy on your dreams. You're moving away from that shit. And you're moving to healthy relationships, healthy partnerships, healthy collaborations, okay? But some of you all, this has to do with equal give and take and possibly dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Or someone who, where you feel this sense of balance and harmony. Someone is coming home. You are returning home. Someone wants to come home, Scorpio. And home is where the heart is. And I don't know why my guys told me that someone wants to come home. Whether you or another person, I definitely see the door is open, but there's a need for you to make a judgment now because th there could be competition with this person. And for some of you all, you could not be holding your offer back because you know that some of y'all dealing with a fine motherfucker here. Somebody, this could be you. Somebody could think you a fine motherfucker. They got to they gotta move, act fast and act now. I definitely see abundance looks beautiful. Things flourishing that you've been trying to manifest looks beautiful. Equal give and take when it comes to family and finding that balance between work, finances, and family and compromises in family looks beautiful. But it all comes with you speaking up, not from a space of allowing things to get bad and then popping off, but no. Speaking up and letting people know, let, let, let that shit be known at the gate. No, 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 no. I don't like that. Moving forward, we're not going to do that. Okay. You know, and making sure that you not only openly communicate, but there is a sense of comprehension around what the fuck you communicated. Make sure they ask understand, Scorpio. Okay? So that's what I have for you guys for the month of August. I pray that this finds you well. I love you all so very much. I send you all peace, blessings. Also, feel free. I've been starting. I'm trying to do, um, you know, trying. I've been uh, cranking up doing uh, readings on Instagram. Y'all are stuck at social media and I'm working on it. Okay. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, you guys. Uh I do want to post on Sundays and break it down in elements like weekly um readings. So you guys follow me. It's at Mocha M O C H A underscore love underscore tarot. Follow the kid, okay? Again, I suck at social media, but again I'm working on it because I want to be able to gather and more than um more than just this space of YouTube. And I also want to be very transparent with y'all and show y'all my crazy ass life. Cause y'all know how I shift me y'all. I think that's why y'all love me so much. <laughs> so you guys, please let me know how this resonates. Thanks as an advance for the likes, the shares, the subscribe, the comments. If you need to read that information can be found in the description. And I currently got a sale going on. Uh go check the community tab. Love y'all. Bye y'all.